Hey, this is MassX with a new Bleach Immortal Soul video, and the Valentine's Day event is out. And it's basically our typical event, as you're familiar with. So you'll have a login every day, so I'm going to grab mine while we're going through this. Then we have Chocolate of Fate, and it's just basically summoning. And as you can see... We have the Yorichi Valentine's character, which we were expecting. And once we go through this quick overview, I will go ahead and grab enough to at least show you guys where she comes in at up to four stars. So basically, it's the same thing we always get. Um, I can see we've got some War Souls. Increase the block chance of all allies. Just the standard... Volatile War Soul, no big deal there. Go ahead and take a peek if there's what else there is. There should be one more. Yes, there is. And increase the character's attack by 1500 plus 12%. Ignore 10% of target defense and 15% of crit resistance chance when using rage attack. So, actually, that one's an interesting one. I'll have to check that one out when the time comes. Oh, and there's one more, it looks like. But of course, you have to draw 600 times to get this increases the character's HP by 15, 750 plus 12% block chance by 15% whenever the character is hit by a critical hit gain a shield equal to 4% I'm sure it's much higher than that probably more like 10 to 15% once it's leveled up that's okay but again nothing spectacular then we have the Valentine's Day store where you can pick up all sorts of goodies of course and they've included the christmas characters no surprise there and they've got the war souls in there too um the love letter one increase the character's attack by x ignore some of the defense and crit resistance we already read that before and yeah same as before so you can get through the store without having to do all those pulls thank goodness and Valentine's Day discount where they want you to spend your money. All right, so nothing new there. No other new, I'm assuming it did not say in the notice if we received anything else new, which I'm guessing not. So we really have no true new content besides an event to spend money on. Um, yep, new character and the Valentine's Day event some optimizations and I don't see where they fixed the issue with Android and that constant downloading lovely sorry to sound down but honestly I think I've, I've been saying I've said this once or twice um, I enjoyed the game I think they've done a wonderful job with their character releases over the last four months plus but where the hell's the content I don't count an event like this as new content. Um, that's where my issue is. I keep hearing there's new content coming, but I don't see it. So that, that really does kind of bum me out, quite honestly. But let's put that aside. Let's take a look at this character. I will give you her stats. And as usual, I will make sure that I start testing her tomorrow when I get up in the morning and have a testing video to you guys within 24 hours so you can plan around your time to get her and maximize um, how you're going to spend, if at all. Um, if you're just gonna collect your resources and get what you can, if you're gonna spend and you're gonna use that around the Soul Jade rebate, whatever the case is, I'm here to help you with that. So with that, let's go ahead and start to take a look at the stats. All right, let's go about building her real quickly so you know it is going to take 70 pieces to build her. So let's go ahead and combine her real quickly. And let's go ahead and just get everything we can activated right now so we don't forget. And let me go ahead and build her up and then we'll start breaking down the stats. All right, we got her leveled up. Let's go ahead and give a breakdown of her really quickly. And I'll show you the stats and how I set her up. 
as normal because you're going to see the upgrades are at level 64 across the board as well as the promotion is just at one star to begin and under the awaken everything is set to just one so she does have the awaken weapon one clothing one tome and she also has one light of the cosmos blue three for enhancement for promotion she is currently at three stars under the war soul i maxed everything out i have not opened the volatile war soul yet and will not until after initial testing as usual everything else is maxed and the talent is open just to the one all right let's go ahead and take a look at that skill set oops hold on one second let me get that leveled up all right at three star we can go ahead and look at the three skills that are currently active with her first off is the mastery skill let's see if they've made any changes deals damage to a single enemy if the target does not have noticed this attack ignores 50 percent of the target's defense if the target does have noticed you reach he gains an additional 200 rage i absolutely love that and let's pray and hope that they have noticed every time you hit with her because getting that additional 200 rage would be really nice skill damage, skill damage is at 179.6 percent plus 990 i think that's it for the mastery skill let's go ahead and take a look at that rage skill deals damage to all enemies Targets affected by noticed have their crit resistance chance reduced by 40% for the duration of this rage attack. Keep that in mind so it's only for her rage attack. For each target with noticed, your reach gains 10% crit chance to a maximum of 30% and reduces the damage reduction rate of targets with noticed by 7% to a maximum of 21%. When this rage attack causes critical hits, the enemy front row takes additional damage equal to 80% of your reach's attack. That's what you probably noticed. I had a Warsaw of crit. You're going to want to use any Warsaws that are going to increase her attack, basically, to assist with that. Skill damage on this one is 179.6% plus 1386. Now it's interesting because it says to a maximum on two separate areas so i have to imagine that means it stacks even though it doesn't say it stacks so maybe we can get some clarification on that all right attack strength um, passively increases the attack which you'd expect given what she does and the passive which is not open yet but this is what it does Yorichi has increased crit chance and damage rate. At the beginning of combat, inflict one stack of noticed on the enemy with the highest HP. Each basic attack and mastery skill inflicts one stack of noticed on the target and enemies in the same row. Okay, so basically, you're going to be able to hit two. Okay, uh, first time Yorichi's HP falls below 40%, she regains 8% of max HP for each enemy with noticed. After Yorichi uses a rage attack or leaves the battlefield, all stacks of noticed on enemies are removed. We're also seeing that more commonly with the newer characters, where when they leave the field, field any of their effects dissipate immediately. While Yorichi is in guard stance, notice does not take effect. Crit chance increases by 8% and damage rate increased by 4%. Again, when we open that up at 4 stars, we'll get a better idea on those stats. So that's what you're looking at. She's clocking in at a nice 217.616 at 3 stars. That's actually pretty darn good, okay? Um, let's take a look here real quickly. Um, her bonds, no surprises, all easy ones that you should have based on how long you've been playing the game. Um, so that's good. So you don't have to worry about that in most cases. And let's go ahead and take a look at the attribute stats with her. Now, remember, I have a Warsaw of Crit on her, but look at that. That is crazy. That's a crit chance right there, okay, without any of the effects kicking in at 75.65%. Basically, she's critting every time is what's going to happen. Crit strength's at 45%. Nice. 
Black Pierce chances at 33.05%, effect accuracy at 15, effect strength at 8%, damage reduction rate at 26.5%, no reflect damage rate with her, crit resist chance is 41.15%, block chance at 21.3, block strength at 2, effect reduction at 19%, damage rate at 37.3%, life still she does not have. And again, as a reminder, I do have a war solo crit on her, so that is definitely assisting with a couple of stats, but still, that's just ridiculous, that crit chance. All right, I went ahead and promoted her, so she's now at four stars. She didn't go up much more, as you can see. She's at 22796, again, 22796. But let's take a look at that skill, the passive skill now, okay? We already went through it, so none of that's going to change. Let's just take a look at the actual stats now. Her crit chance increase is 15.84%. Nice. Damage rate increases by 7.92%. Very nice. Like that a lot. Actually, that's pretty impressive. So let's take a look. Curiosity's got the best of me. Okay. So it didn't have effect on the base stats. Of course, expected. It's a passive. It's not going to activate until battle starts. So at 220.796, um, I know some people are going to just squeak by and get her at three stars. Um, I definitely would get her. I really want to test her out, though, because um, I don't know. I, I've seen a lot of people excited for her. Um, I've been a little leery. I want to see this in action and see how she performs, quite honestly, <clears throat> and how effective it's going to be. Uh, but I will definitely start testing as soon as I get up tomorrow. I will have a video out to you, hopefully, um, within 24 hours, as I usually do. So you can start making some informed decisions. Um, I'm probably not going to get five-star stats out on her right away. I want to do some pretty heavy testing at four-star and see what I think of her before I start um, really going all in, especially since we have... Um, plenty of time to work with her. I'll also get those War Souls leveled up and provide the stats in a separate video for you guys with some testing to let you know if, if they're worth it or not, or if they're just, you know. The Christmas War Souls turned out to be pretty good, so I can't complain. Um, before that, it's been pretty much hit or miss. Um, the real focus is going to be her. And speaking of her, I forgot to mention, mention she does have her own passive war soul also. And this, if I remember correctly, is going to work really well with her. Increases the character's attack by 750 plus 6%. Again, this is not even leveled at all. When using rage attacks, for every target critically hit, the damage of the next rage attack is increased by 3%. Stackable up to 6 times. Oh yeah, this is made basically just for her. Yeah, okay. That's going to be pretty crazy on her. It pretty much tell you, excuse me, oh, I was uh, grinding My Hero Ultra Impact for the last 12 plus hours to do a video on that. And so it's catching up with me. Um, but yeah, this War Soul is going to be absolutely stupid sick. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's ridiculous on her. And I could, I mean, it could be good on quite a few characters, but on her and, oh, God. Actually, I would really like to try this also on Armored Yorichi, um, because, oh, that, yeah, that could be interesting, too. All right. I'm actually more excited about testing this out with a few characters I'm thinking about um, than anything else at the moment. All right everybody please as always like and subscribe it helps a lot i will get this out um to you guys and we'll get those follow-ups to you so you can make those informed decisions have a great rest of the week